Live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. Jesus called me on my cell phone. No roaming charges were incurred. I've been in a couple of Broadway shows, uh, Wicked, 9 to 5, Legally Blonde, with my wife here, Orfe. And uh, we are here tonight to celebrate some of those songs and from those shows and uh, for a great cause. We met on Broadway doing uh, Saturday Night Fever, and uh, we've, we were in Legally Blonde together. A whole bunch of stuff, but those are the two Broadway shows that we've done together. Oh, you know, I was I was uh, I was playing all the characters in that one. Um, no, I was playing. A, I, I did uh, cover Tony Manero, which uh, was the John Travolta role, and I danced my took us off. When you understand what they do or why their schedule is the way that it is, I think that it's conducive to a healthy marriage because you get it. Obviously, it doesn't often work out in Hollywood, but it has made it much easier to have a long-lasting marriage for us. To the left, to the left. I was a teen pop, you know, recording artist, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I, you know, things were crazy in the music business as they still are and will always be. And one of my dancers became a choreographer on Broadway. And his first show that he choreographed was Footloose, the musical. And he called me up one day and he said, hey, do you want to come and audition for Footloose? And I was like, the movie? And he's like, no, I'm choreographing the Broadway show. They're bringing it to Broadway. I said, sure. So I went and I auditioned and I wound up as an understudy for all the female leads and that's really the very short version of how I got on into my Broadway career. I just had to hear I worked at Hershey Park a million times and did cruise ships and that sort of thing. And I had an audition for a show in Texas and uh, I booked the audition for the show. And when I got there, the director said, I want you to move to New York because you need to be in New York. And I said, that's not time. I'm not ready. So a half a year later, I moved to New York. And a month later, I got my first Broadway show. And what was that? Hair on Broadway. Aquarium. It was a great hair day. It was a great hair day, and um, it was very freeing. I felt like it, it taught me how to be more comfortable with myself. I mean, it, it helps that you have to get naked every night in front of an audience of people, strangers. Um, but it, um, it allowed me to be a lot more myself. My experience is a little different in that my parents actually owned and operated their own little theater company um, in Maryland where I'm from. So I grew up basically from the age of two just on stage with my mom and dad and my sister and brother. And when I went to college actually I tried to get away from theater because I didn't want anything to do with it anymore. 
but I felt that something was just a little missing. So I decided to give a whirl and come to New York. And I actually did pack my two suitcases and got on a bus in Ocean City, Maryland and came on up and, uh, and that was that, I guess. I was an understudy in Beauty and the Beast, but it was I was only there for eight months, but it was actually very fortuitous, as you were saying, because that's where I met my husband. So my husband did the makeup for the Beast. He does like cool special effect yeah. makeup for mostly television and, and movies, which is, he never works theater. It just happened to be he was working that show. Do you see that cloud up there with a the number nine? I went to Duke University and I went originally as a Marine Option Navy ROTC and I uh, got cast in a musical and it conflicted with my first sailing weekend and I thought, I want to do the musical. <laughs> so, so I had to make a big, big life choice and then ended up being a double major there, history and drama. First a witch, then a child, then a prince, then a moment who can live in the woods and to get what you wish only just for Davy and Goliath was um, used to be a show in the late 60s, early 70s that the Lutheran Church had about teaching kids good values, and those characters were brought back by um, Mountain Dew originally, and uh, we had a fun, very funny commercial where at the end of it, I was Davy, and at the end of it, I said, uh, we got hosed, Tommy, we got hosed. So that was, if anyone knows that commercial, that was me. <laughs> Thank you.